What's up guys, War Nickel Revolution here, back at you with another nickel hunting video. And this box is circulated, I checked through these holes. And we are using Quinn's Coins official coin roll hunting competition standard score sheet. We're not having a competition hunt though, we're just um, looking through the box. Someday we'll have a competition hunt with somebody. I guess. I just don't know when that will be. But um, for points, we got 50s, 2 points, 40s, 4 points, 30s, 5 points, and so on and so forth. Sheet of points, and we've got the Canadian additional score sheet that we'll be using as well. Verse, and the key dates and the low Mitch Jefferson Nicholas as well. We'll be using those dates. So whenever I say like something's worth this many points, that's what I'm talking about with this sheet. Anyways guys, um, I'm just gonna flip this over to see if we have any enders, and if we do, I'll show you. If we don't, then we'll just jump right into this, and you'll see on me on the first find. We are three rolls in guys, we just got our very first find. It's 1952 Philadelphia giving us two points from in from the 50s very nice this is roll number five guys and we just got ourselves a 1959 Philadelphia this time usually they're Denver it's nice to get a Philadelphia but it's still gonna count as two points it's not low midget it's not a key date but still worth two points awesome keeping it Roll number six, guys. We just got ourselves a 1954 Denver. Giving us two points for being from the 50s. Let's keep on hunting. Same rolls at 54 Denver. We just got this one. 1956 Philadelphia. Giving us two points. Awesome. Roll number eight. We just got ourselves a 1980 Canadian. And why this one is special is because it is 99.9% .9 nickel, 1965 to 1981, this being 1980, makes it a five pointer coin on our sheet, so that's awesome. On to the next find. All right guys, another new f good find is uh, 1972. Just, just like that 1980, it's going to be 99.9% .9 nickel, giving us 5 points. Harder, definitely, to find these 70s nickels. So it's a good find in my book. Awesome. On the very end of roll number 10, actually not the very end, there was a few coins before this one. A 1956 comes out, and it's a 56 Philadelphia, giving us 2 points, green from the 50s. Awesome. All right, guys, this is rule number 11, and I should have thought to myself more when I saw this in the roll, but this coin right here, it's just a dirty kind of nickel, maybe a little bit thinner than usual. And I'm like, eh, that could just be a dirty nickel. That's nothing. So I didn't start filming right away, but right when I revealed this, you can see it right there. That's what I'm seeing, guys. It's a buffalo. How awesome is that? Really dirty one. I don't know if we're going to get a date off that. I'm really trying to see that right now. And I can't see what it is. Ah, uh, looking with my loop. I'm not seeing anything right there. Let's see, oh my gosh, the backside. Jeez. I mean, yeah, you can see the buffalo there, but what is this stuff on here? I don't even know. I might have to try to clean this up later, but there's something on here. It's like just corrosion, maybe? I don't know what that stuff is. I didn't think it was going to be that bad, but this side doesn't look that bad. You can kind of see the date area and what it says, but this side, oh my gosh, that's bad. That is terrible. 
But anyways, it's still a Buffalo. Still gives us 15 points, so that's awesome. 15 pointer, regardless of the date. I think the last number might be an eight. 19 something eight, could be 1918. But I can't really tell. Um, yeah, let's keep on hunting and see what else we can find. But yeah, we're not too far into the box and we already got this one. Same rule as that Buffalo guys. Found this 1949. Philly, some kind of weird scratch design in the middle of the Moncello. But yeah, this one's going to give us four points from being from the 40s. That's awesome. Roll number 12, guys, and we got ourselves a 1948 right here. 48 Philly giving us uh, four points from being from the 40s. Awesome. Well, guys, it looks like we had an ender that I couldn't see normally. Um, on roll number 13, right here. On the very end of the roll is a 1954 Denver, giving us two points for being for the 50s. And I just got done cleaning the buffalo so that would be we're able to see the other side that was just black. But I'll show that at the end so you guys can be surprised on how well it cleaned up. But uh, yeah, this one just gives us two points. That's still good though. Awesome. Well, guys, this is roll number six, not 16, roll number 14. And I just thought this was going to be old, and it was. So, 1948 looks to be a Philadelphia. But, yeah, um, I almost didn't think it was because the Monticello doesn't look that smooth down for a 40s nickel, but still a 40s nickel, giving us four points. Awesome. Roll number 17, guys. We just got this one. Denver minted 1956. Giving us two points for being from the 50s. Very nice. Roll number 18, guys. On the very end of the roll, four coins left. We got this one. It's a 1958 Denver. Giving us two points. Awesome. I flipped this coin right here, not thinking it was anything. But it's a 1938, guys. A 1938, which is really quite a good thing because if it's a D or an S, it is a key date or really low mintage. Um, it would be worth 20 points on our score sheet. But um, I flipped it without even looking at the back, so I have no idea what this is. It could just be a 38 plane, which is still a low mintage Jefferson. Low mintage Jefferson Nichols, below 25 million minted, 1938 is right there as you can see. But these really don't come up too often, so um, let's just flip it and find out. Okay, 1938 plane, which I guess I'm not too surprised about, but still a really nice coin. I like finding these, especially that old style of 8 on there. If you look at the new style of 8, let's see if I can find a... Good example. Yeah, here's one. 1978. You can clearly tell the 8 is different. It's like fatter down below and just like fatter up top compared to the 38's 8. So the find the 38 and the find that 8 just looks so cool. I don't know. Just the older design. I just like it more, I guess. Is what I'm trying to say. But um still a really nice find. 1938 plain or Philadelphia minted is going to give us 10 points because it's below 25 million minted so that's really good and I don't know what's in this roll left because um, I didn't go over it with the magnet there we go pulled it out so the steel scent is a 2009 so that gives us nothing special it's a 2009 Canadian just giving us negative one points but yeah Still a really good find out of that roll, regardless. And I'll see you guys on my next find. This is roll number 29, guys. And we got something special. It's a 1951, and I already looked at the back. It's a Denver mint mark, and it is really, really slick, guys. But a 1951 Denver is something that's below 25 million minted. It's right there. So that nickel is going to give us 10 points. So that's awesome. We 
Looks like it's got some coin machine damages right here. But it's still a kind of a rarer nickel to find. I definitely find a lot more 51 planes than anything else. And I'm still looking for the 51S to add to my collection. Because I still don't have that one. But um, yeah, it's a really good find. And let's keep on hunting and see what else we can find. Well guys, we're still in roll 29. And it looks like we got something in here that could be something really old. It could be 1980s. I think this might be the 80s design because it's a younger queen that's smaller. I think the older one, I think you got an older one right here, 1972. Kind of like compare them. Yeah, see, see how this is a larger queen and that's the 70s. I think this might be an 80s one because it's a smaller queen. Um, but let's just find out together. Three, two, one. All right, 1985. I'm really not that surprised. Um, it's not going to be a five-pointer because it's not 99.9% .9 nickel, but it is going to be a foreign coin because it's still not a steel cent or a steel Canadian. So that's really good. 1985, two-pointer. Let's keep on hunting. Well, guys, we are still on roll 29. Flipped a few coins over and we just got this 1939. And I think I saw the back already. I think this is just going to be a Philadelphia. But still a really good find. Yep. So it's Philadelphia. Still worth five points though because it's from the 30s. That's awesome. Well guys, I just opened up roll number 31. We already got ourselves a find. 1953. Denver. Giving us two points for being from the 50s. And let's see what else we can find, guys. Wow, guys. I was just saying to myself, what is? what if we get a war nickel and I can't even tell it's in there? And right here, not this coin, but that coin is a war nickel. I just saw the P on the back. And you guys probably saw it too before I covered it up. But I was just saying to myself, you know, there's probably going to be a war nickel in here. I can't even see. And this is it right here. You can't even tell that edge. Um, it's not tarnished at all, making it a war nickel, but it's got the P above the Monticello, so we know it is. So what the what is the date? Looks like it's going to be 1944 Philadelphia. Very nice, very cool. Usually they're 43s because that's the most common, but getting the 44 that's pretty really nice. And this points the the coin is going to give us 10 points for being a war nickel, so that's really cool. Liking the look in this one, not not too tarnished whatsoever. Awesome. Let's keep on the hunt and see what else we can find. So far it's been a really awesome box. So I forgot to mention last roll was no roll number 31 for that war nickel. So we found that with the 53 Denver. But um, right here I just had to get this because right here we've got a Canadian, um, Canadian nickel. And behind that, right behind it is a 1948. So the 48... Philadelphia is what it is. Gives us four points for being from the 40s. And we got this one, which looks to be 70s, I think. Let's look at that 72 again. Let's see how big this is. Is that the 70s? Yeah, 72. Yeah, the queen looks like she's the same size on this one as she is on this one. So I'm going to guess 1979. Let's just guess that. Wow, 1968. I wasn't expecting that at all. But 1968 is right in that 99.9% .9 nickel range, so this coin gives us five points for being that 99.9% .9 nickel, which is awesome. Really, really hard to get these 60s nickels, 70s nickels. So usually, they're more modern when I do find them. So this is really good, guys. And I'll see you guys on my next find. Roll number... 34 guys Thought we might have a newer Canadian so I just put a magnet to the roll and I got this one out of here 2015 uh, So unfortunately this one's gonna give us negative one point for being a steel nickel but um, I feel like we've been making up the points with those older nickels For getting these negative one points, but this is like the fourth one I think no, it's the fifth one. The fifth steel nickel that we've gotten out of here. It's kind of crazy. But, um, yeah, unfortunately, we keep getting these. But we do get the older ones to make up for it. So, I don't know what I feel about this. 
it's just it is what it is I guess I haven't been getting a lot of these in the past boxes and it's finally catching up with me where I'm getting them in the boxes again but yeah unfortunately we got another one of these giving us negative one points and let's keep on hunting roll number 37 guys we just got ourselves another 40 find and that uh, 1941 Philadelphia giving us four points bringing it from the 40s and let's keep on going see what else we can find roll number 41 guys we just got this one 1951 Philadelphia giving us two points for being from the 50s awesome let's keep going and see what else we can find a few coins later still on roll number 41 we got this 1954 Philadelphia giving us two points awesome Roll number 46, guys. We just got ourselves a 1958 Denver. Giving us two points. Reading from the 50s. Let's see what else we can find. Last roll of the box, guys. Thought I would do it live. Because I haven't been finding very much. But hopefully this gives us something good. <clears throat> Another Warnock would be awesome. A Buffalo again. That'd be cool too. I'm not seeing anything right away that sticks out to me as a war nickel. Or a buffalo. They all look basic, like basic nickels. That looks kind of old. 1941. So I was right about it being old. 41 Philadelphia. Giving us four points for being from the 40s. See what else is in here. This one's offset slightly. It might have just been that one in there, unfortunately. You got any 2009s that I missed? I'm not seeing any, unfortunately. But yeah, I'll see you guys for the wrap up really soon, and I'll show you the buffalo that I cleaned so it looks awesome. But I guess before I do that, picture in your mind what it looks like right now. What it, what it came out like. I know that was a while ago. But um, picture in your mind what it looks like. And then I'll show it to you like cleaned up. What it looks like now. And I'll be back in a second. So guys, welcome to the wrap up of the video. I'm going to start off with finds. From the 50s, we got a 1951 Philadelphia, we got a 1952 Philadelphia, we got a 1953 Denver, I believe. Yep, 53 Denver. We got a 1954 Philadelphia, we got three 1954 Denvers we got two 1956 Phillies one 1956 Denver we got two 1958 Denvers one 1959 Philly and one 1959 Denver for 40s we got two 1941 Phillies and here's a huge jump. From 41, we got 48s, three 1948s, all Philadelphia, one 1949 Philadelphia. We got a 1939 Philadelphia. A Buffalo, which I'm going to show you in a second what the backside looks like now that I cleaned it. We got this 1938 Philadelphia. That's low mintage. We got this 1951 Denver. 
the layers on it, but there's 51 Denver right there. And we got the low midget one. We got this war nickel, 1944 Philadelphia. Really good condition. We got for steals that count for two points, or not steals, um, Canadians. We got 1985, 1994, 1998, and 1999. Those are all count for two points each. We got um, a seven, uh, 68, a 72, and a 1980. That all count for five points because they're 99.9% .9 nickel. And then we got all these six um, steel Canadians, which is kind of annoying. So it took our score quite down from what it was to what it is now. Um, we got a 2009, a 2010, a 2015, two 2016s, and a 2018. So that's kind of annoying. But the back side of this nickel is going to be revealed now. So I added a picture to the video so you'd be able to see what the backside looks like just in case you couldn't remember. But it was really bad guys and let's just flip it and see what this nickel looks like now. Alright guys so I was able to clean quite a bit of that stuff off. I know you're not supposed to clean coins and everything like that but this one I just don't even care. I didn't care like how it turned out. I just have to get that stuff off there and we've revealed the five cents now because you couldn't see that at all or the United States of America I feel like you could see the U and the N before and now you can see United States of America as well as the model the motto up uh, up the top right there but um yeah this took um quite a bit of time I use this stuff called Melaleuca oil it's from this company that makes cleaning products and soaps and shampoos and stuff like that it's called Melaleuca but um I put that oil on there was able to clean it off with some um what do you call q-tips and we revealed the five cents and there's a D mint mark so maybe one day we'll get some Nicodate on there we can see what the date is but it definitely says 19 something right <laughs> I mean they're all from the 1900s but I want to say that's like 1918 maybe, but I'm really not sure, so I'm just going to count it as a 15-pointer. I say that because if you get a low minted Buffalo nickel below 10 million minted, then it's got one of these mint marks, so like 1918 Denver is right there. And you look up here to the low minted Buffalo, that would be counting as 50 points, but since I don't know what the, the date is, and I can't say what it is, exactly we're only going to count it for 15 points but it's a still it's still a good looking nickel now that i cleaned it and it's always good to get buffaloes i think they look awesome so that's that i thought it was really cool it was a really good hunt finding a lot of things a lot of 50s nickels not so many 40s nickels but um we get we got the buffalo we got the 38 we got the 1951 Denver and we got this war nickel that looks amazing so all together I think it was a really good hunt um, kind of botched by these steel Canadian cents or Canadian nickels I keep saying steel cents and stuff like that so I apologize for saying steel cents because that's not what they are but yeah all together a really good hunt um, and I hope you guys liked it if you did remember to smack that like button um, subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace